Hello. Today we want to plant out our cabbages and calabrese. Now, our family has a taste for Savoy cabbage. That's the cabbage of their choice and the one that they all like. So we try to grow that all year round. And the one I found that will grow during the summer months and the autumn and the winter is a variety called Savoy King. And the variety of calabrese we're going to be growing is a variety called Marathon. As you can see, I've dibbed the holes and they are at 18 inch intervals each way. And we have found that that gives us the best size harvest for our brassicas that suit our family. Now the other thing is that I always like to put the plants in fairly young. Um, you'll often see people planting plants and they'll be like this tall and have five, six leaves on them. Um, I generally like to plant them out much smaller than that. I find the transplant better and they get away quicker. The other thing is that I don't need to harden them off. Whereas as they get bigger, they've been in the warmth of the greenhouse for a long time and yeah, they'll need hardening off. So we'll start with the Savoy King. See, there's the plug plant. It's already got two leaves that are established and it's got this third one now starting to come. And all I do is pop that in the hole. Now I do like to plant these quite deeply. And of course they want to be firm. You can see the roots are already getting to the bottom. So they are ready to come out. So you can see they're planted and in the ground, um, planted nice and deeply. And by planting them nice and deeply, um, they don't get so wind rocked. So I'm going to give them a water in, a good drink of water to help them settle in to their new homes. And what we shall do, we shall put a cover over these, not because there's any danger of the cabbage white butterflies yet. They won't come here until July time. And by then, these will actually be getting ready for a harvest. The reason why we're, we'll, we should be keeping these covered all of their lives is because we have pigeons. Behind me, we have woodland. And pigeons do rather like the taste of brassicas. You may remember if you've been following our channel that we are enjoying some nice sprout tops earlier in the year. And then when the storms came along in February and the cover was destroyed, Within the matter of a couple of days, all of the tops of the kale and the whatever's remaining of the uh, sprouts, they'd eaten. So if you're like us and you have pigeons that come into your garden, just keep your brassicas covered. If you like what we do and you want to subscribe, don't forget to hit that button at the bottom and we shall see you on the next video.